It was the tail end of 2018. Acoustica was in the can. We were very proud of it. We did a lot of hard work on it. And I had to submit it to festivals to see what they would say. It was the first film I had ever done. and We won a few awards and official selections from various film festivals, which felt really good. And then we also got some feedback, which wasn't as good. I really hated the monster. Um, I feel like I feel like there was a really good cosmic horror or some other kind of horror movie in there. I agree. Like the, this monster at the end was like, what the hell was that? I was just gonna say that. Well, I didn't like the monster either. Um... Ouch. Kind of hurt. But there was one, a couple people that seemed to like it. I love the monster. Yeah, who likes the monster? Yeah, yeah, all right, cool. Only the millennials like the monster, go ahead. The monster was like funny and spooky and he was just kind of like creepy, like looking at him from behind the bushes and I was like, ooh, what's he doing? He's so weird, yes. And, you know, you just, that, you gotta take that feedback with, in a stride and try to work harder on the next project. But, you know, we as a team came together. It's a mostly volunteer effort. It was just a fun collaboration. And we had a blast. First time I ever burned anything to a DVD. First time submitting to festivals. First time for a lot of my stuff for filmmaking. But the time came to finish everything up and I actually had to move. So I went from Kodiak, Alaska to uh, Milwaukee. Home of cheese curds, beer, and endless amounts of polar vortexes, I guess. And then news of the first image of the black hole came out. And I had already had a sci-fi script uh, that I had named Infinitus. I'm a huge fan of 2001 Space Odyssey, Alien, all the classic great sci-fi films. So I knew I had to jump on that. I was drafting scripts, rewriting, rewriting. I had contacted Charlie Zacherl who I worked with before, got him to work on a black hole poster. So here is the apex, the event horizon black hole, and it'll have the aurora going around it. Um, all this is gonna expand into stars. This is gonna be white cluster of stars, like a Milky Way type. And I started studying black hole experiments and found this lab that does liquid dynamics for black hole gravitational oh, forces and came up with the idea of using um, spirals or uh, tor liquid tornadoes uh, in these bottles, in these two liter bottles. Cut the bottoms off so I could film inside. Uh, tried to use regular paint at first. It didn't really do anything for me so I used black light and fluorescent paint to kind of make it glow like the image. And it was a learning experience, man. Had to keep it in the sink so I could keep the water flowing, dripping, and Alicia was dripping the paint in there, you know. We eventually came out with something that looked pretty close. I think we did a great job, actually, making it look close to the image. And then I got a macro probe lens and went actually inside the spiral, which I love that shot, I, you know. And Charlie had finished the poster. It looked amazing. I love the black and white ink style. I'm a huge fan of that. Um, and then I just kept going with the paint. First, uh, it was all murky and muddy and nasty looking, and I just kept pushing and pushing and decided um, at first I was using glass surfaces but they were a bitch to clean so I started using petri dishes and that's when right here this footage is when I knew that I was on to something with the practical effects something could be done with this and so I got excited with just this one image 